Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Cappies, let's see what we have here for you. We're going to do things a little differently this time. All right, so somebody, hmm, let's see what else we have here before we say too much. Okay. Okay, so somebody is feeling an emotional loss here. Even though they are not available, they are not single, they are with someone else. They're looking at their Ten of Cups. That could be you. With the Page of Wands, there's no communication going on here. But in reverse, I kind of feel like somebody's feeling a little emotionally um, maybe traumatized or emotionally unavailable. Somebody doesn't want somebody to walk away. They're having a different perspective. Possibly a little confused or looking at the options. Maybe having a few drinks. They don't seem to have the courage to do anything about it right now, Capricorn. This may be you. This may be your person and how they're looking at you. Cross watchers are welcome, of course. I encourage people to look at their sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Just to get a little more perspective about what might be going on for you. So we have somebody sees somebody as a Ten of Cups and a Sweetheart and their perspective of them is totally changing. They may not be unavailable, but they don't want you to walk away. But they don't have the courage to do much about it at this point. They're not feeling that there's any love there. There's no blessing. They may have messed up a blessing here. I'm kind of feeling this is somebody maybe feeling a little emotionally vulnerable about possible options they may have had. Maybe chose the wrong option here. Hmm. Somebody may have wanted to be in control of the situation and I don't know if that's the case any longer. Let's have a look. Let's see what this Ace of Cups in Reverse is all about. Okay, yeah, unloved. Um, two of Cups. No, but these two aren't together, Capricorn. You and your person are not together. They're feeling a little unloved or kind of feeling feeling the loss of you, maybe your energy, your energetic vibe. You may be at a distance from this person. They're unhappy that uh, possibly they are unavailable to do anything about this. What's the Ten of Cups? Mm, they're wanting a victory here. They could have felt that this person they ended up with was their Ten of Cups. But I, I kind of feel like that's more you, Capricorn. That they see you as the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want to be free here. Um, I'm kind of feeling there's a big temptation here. Um, the Devil in Reverse, though, uh, this is about independence, freedoms, and endings. So they may be trying to end something. Um, I feel like there's no communication between the two of you or perhaps you ended it with this person or they ended it with you. Take it however it resonates. And I am kind of trying to see who's who in this reading and I'm really picking up your person's energy about how they are feeling about you Capricorn. I mean if it's the other way around I mean by all means take it however it resonates for you right. So. But I feel like somebody wants to be free of somebody here and I 
I'm kind of feeling though with that page of cups in the reverse that's kind of telling me that they may want to be they may be a little insecure or they want to be vulnerable now with you let's see what this heart of the reading is going to tell us here with the six of swords in reverse This could be somebody stuck in the past or resisting that change. There, <laughs> the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this person is re, re is regretting how they feel about you and want to reconcile. They do not want you to walk away. And with the Six of Swords there, I kind of feel like this is somebody that was resisting change, but let's see if they did change the different perspective is here so they may have gotten a wake-up call here yeah your finances might be doing better or things are improving once they walk away from this person they could have been experiencing someone else's karma whoever they were with they may see you differently they may see you having your finances changing what is the seven of cups here yeah <laughs> okay so we have the seven of cups in reverse now and we've got the seven of cups in the upright now it is in reverse and somebody's looking in this cup as somebody walks away in the upright here so with the seven of cups in reverse though this is kind of this is clarity this is an end of an illusion here they're seeing what they needed to see what is the strength in reverse here i mean strength is leo energy right and it's all about being brave but this may be having some fear or some self-doubt here having some raw emotion yeah they hmm. they're seeing clearly that they weren't a team player with you they weren't they were lacking the strength when it came to you to be that in that harmony and in that beautiful energy of the three of pentacles in the upright they didn't collaborate with you. They didn't share their goals. They didn't learn any new ideas or cooperate with you. They weren't being a team player at all. They lacked the courage to step up. What is this sweetheart here? The Queen of Cups. What's going on with that? That's somebody that's emotionally connected and very intuitive. I feel like you could see right through somebody. You're very sensitive when it comes to energy. Capricorn, please. Okay. Yeah, there's lovers here. This is about getting together. This is the tarot after. So this is kind of what happens after this. And they want to come forward and come together with you. And they do not want you to walk away with the Six of Swords in reverse. They may be resisting this change, stuck in the past, or they like the past version of you. Can I get one more to see what goes on after this? Are they going to change their energy here? Are you going to learn what they needed to learn? They're seeing something differently here, though. Uh, we have the King of Cups in reverse, though. Okay, so with the King of Cups in reverse, this is kind of somebody that's kind of immature, kind of that doesn't cope well, kind of selfish or withdrawn, a little anxious or overwhelmed, emotionally manipulates people. So Capricorn, wow. Okay, well, let's look at your energy coming in here. What is your energy like right now, Cappy? So I'm feeling like this is more your person. I feel like this may be a masculine here, and Capricorn, if you are the masculine, then this may be you. 
All right, having some family issues here. Capricorn, maybe there's somebody in their family that's having issues about you. Ooh. Okay, I almost lost it. <laughs> So Spirit's kind of telling this person it's time to free yourself and can take, take back control of your life from your family. Your family has had a chance to live their life and I'm talking mom and dad or stepmom, stepdad, whatever it is for whatever blended families, you know, whatever this is for you, this family issue that you need to take back control of your own life they have already decided on their own and now it's time for you to decide on your own and wh whatever that means to you because after all this is your life this is your happiness this is about you so follow your heart is kind of what I'm feeling here free yourself from mom and dad uh, about how they may be trying to control the narrative and express your love to your person Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, let's see what your person's energy is. No, this may be your person here. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling more this may be your person. And if it is you, then, then I apologize. Just flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do. But I'm feeling more this is your person. So that's where I'm going to put them is where they belong here as your person. Let's see what your energy is. <clears throat> okay, so somebody wants to reconcile with you. I'm going to put that back because you know what? Maybe there is family issues there, but your person does want to reconcile with you. Maybe you want to reconcile with them. We'll just flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do. I kind of feel like I need just to leave things where they sit because when I start messing with things, the everything gets a little confumbled. So let's have a look here. There may be a new love coming in for your person or maybe even you. Uh, they may know of somebody that wants to reconcile with you. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, they may want to retreat with you, disconnect from the world, kind of keep you all to themselves so this new love doesn't come in, or they want to reconcile and have a new love with you as a new fresh start. So take how that resonates for you. I'm going to find out here a little bit here. What is this for yourself here? Okay, so getting rid of some anxiety, easing up on the anxiety here. Maybe you're feeling some type of way because of your family putting a little bit of pressure on you about this person, about your person. Eight of Swords in Reverse is kind of like facing those fears, okay? And standing up for yourself against your family, whatever they're saying or wanting for you. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. It's up to you <laughs> is what I'm getting. Okay, so this is somebody from the past here that wants to reconcile with you, obviously, if they want to reconcile. And what's the new love here? What is that about? Is that this reconciliation? Okay. So judgment in reverse. Okay, so hmm. I'm kind of feeling, well, this is Pluto energy. This is somebody that has self-doubts, makes bad judgments, or feels they do. This may feel like this is some type of failure that they had stuck in the past. So this may be a new love here coming in, and you may have to choose between a reconciliation and a new love. Let's see here. Let's see the combined energy here between the two of you. <laughs> we got engagement. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this King of Cups can be emotionally manipulative. So be careful or be aware of that. I'm sure you see right through this person. Let's see. What is your intentions when it comes to this person? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's rebuilding here with the hammer. 
um, persistent working on it and I feeling here there was some heartbreak here some sad separation or feeling lost grieving and mourning here that you may have had with this person or with whoever you were with last maybe it was a different ex could be with the same ex that you just broke up with take it however it resonates for you Ooh, wow there's a lot of passion between you um, insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun and then we have the camera here reminiscing keepsakes making memories learning from the past so this may be about learning you may have learned some things here from this person let's see what about your person what are their intentions here you may want to rebuild this you want to get over that broken heart with this person and work on things. There is a lot of intense passion between you and make new memories. Ah, so you may, when this person comes through, this may not be who you thought it was. You may be still healing your heart from this person. Freed yourself from somebody here. There's a new phase here maybe a rekindle or a renew or transformation or growth perhaps this person said they have grown changed uh, they may still have addictions here so you may not want this person in your life what's the combined energy <laughs> welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect so engagement and everything here um I feel like this may be two people. You may have to choose between two. One that, well, I feel like they both want you. But there's one here. Let's look at, I want to get, I'm going to leave that key in there. Key to the heart. I want to know about the, the, new, the new person, the new love. Tell me about the new love. What's their intentions here? The new love. Okay, that one wants to come. Stability, growth, flexibility. Okay, so we're going to have there's somebody that you're going to maybe reconcile with or you are going to take on this new person. But however this goes, you are going to maybe get engaged here with somebody here. So we're going to put your reconciliation person, we're going to put your new person over here. You may not want to talk about somebody here, talk to somebody about this. And the retreat and this, I'm going to put here because I'm not really sure where this is going yet. So your new person here, your new love is stable, secure. There's growth there and endurance and flexibility. What are their intentions towards the Capricorn, please? This new love. That one wants to come. Healthy choices. Okay, self-love, self-care, being happy in love and in life. Wow, it's like a sudden change. This person may come in unexpectedly. This may be a surprise. <laughs> they may want to surprise you. This new love, keys on a ring, mm. this could be somebody that has a lot of options, maybe hooks up, maybe one night stands, so you may feel that, oh, we have some mirroring here, a photograph, and the chaser, okay. So this may be a twin flame that you're having with this new love over here. There's a reconciliation here that somebody is not having back uh, by the looks of it. Not today. And then we have a new love coming in. So yeah, mirroring each other, chaser, runner chaser, may have abandonment issues. But they may be looking at your photographs, maybe online. 
What's the combined energy between the reconciliation and you? What's the combined energy? Let's crack the deck. Engagement ring. Woo. <laughs> and what about this new love? What's the combined energy between you and this new love that you have here? Abundance. Wow. Positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Wow. <laughs> All right, choice is you. Maybe you don't want to get married to anybody. Maybe you do. It's going to be all up to you. There is engagement here, but that could have been just reiterating what this reconciliation might come in. They may ask you to marry them. Let's see here. Let's look at what you may need to learn or what you have learned. This could be past, present, or near future. Just keep in mind. Not everything will resonate for you. And I feel like whoever is watching here, there's going to be some specifics that I'm coming up with here. It might be for a few people, and there may be other things that come up for other people. Let's see here. All right. We have turn on your heart light. So somebody may have sh shut down that heart space with that broken heart here. This could be you getting to know each other. Perhaps you don't know somebody as well as you thought you knew or you want to get to know which could be this new love and then be authentic and be true to yourself of who and how you feel so no point in lying to yourself no point in having somebody make you feel guilty if you don't choose them don't let anybody talk you into going along with that if that is not truly what you feel about somebody don't settle with your heart if this isn't exactly what you're looking for. If there's red flags for you, then it's time to walk away. What about this person, new love? What did they learn? Love who you are. Yes, so perhaps they had some shame or um, didn't love self. And with this, where was this? Uh, healthy choices that's self-love so this person has learned self-love you're a divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer so that's quite beautiful there so they've learned things about self-love and what about this other person here reconciliation they have patience. they need to learn patience here love is patient and kind always so trying to, um, whoever this is trying to, I don't know, dictate everything here. I kind of feeling like, oh, we've got two boats here. I'm just realizing that there's two boats here. And I kind of feel like there might be two different energies here. One that has options and one that may do, maybe doesn't look at other options or seven of cups in reverse is kind of ending an illusion about something having that perspective but somebody doesn't want you to walk away that they see you as their ten of cups and then there's another person here that doesn't want you to walk away here that has love for you but may be emotionally manipulative, but they see you as a sweetheart. So, hmm. one doesn't have love here or feels unloved. And the two cups in reverse is somebody that has poor communication or empty feelings. They don't really feel anything. Let's see what we've got here for you and the new person. The union of hearts, the love connection, 
defies explanation. So that could be that twin flame union there, that twin flame love. And how about your other person? Let's just go like so. And we have physical touch. This may be your love language with this person. That touchy-feely can mean so much. So this person, you're just really dead set against listening or talking to this person. They may have asked you to marry them before. Perhaps you declined their offer. Let's see what the action is towards this person and your new person, Capricorn. What are your actions, Capricorn? Can I get two cards for your actions? What are you planning to do? What are your actions going to be towards the new love? What are your actions going to be towards the new love? Rainbow, wish granted. Oh, you're going to look at this person as patience paying off, your blessing. You were looking for new love. You wanted somebody that was patient and a godsend, manifesting wealth, prosperity, and perfect timing. This is cancer energy. This is fulfillment. Wish fulfillment with your new person. And you're feeling this Capricorn, so we're going to put that up there on the right with your new love. Now what about this reconciliation? How are you feeling about this person that wants to reconcile with you? How do you feel about the person that wants to reconcile? Um, effective communication this person may have. Humor, fun, in tune with others. They want to collaborate with you. They want peace, harmony, and to be helpful. And number 12 is meeting new goals, maybe setting new goals. So, hmm, let's see. Somebody has to travel here. Somebody doesn't have boundaries. Things work out, taking off, leave it behind. Internal guiding system. I feel like Aquarius energy here. Somebody might overcome something, maybe get that freedom they were looking for here. Somebody wanted to be free of something here. I'm feeling, hmm, not really sure where to put that, so I'm going to put that back. Let's ask. For the reconciliation, what is your person that wants to reconcile? What are their actions towards you? Stork. They want to change. They want to transform and renew this. They want to move, reven, re, renovate. <laughs> this person might be slender and tall. This is the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Hearts here. This is all about being nurturing and emotionally connective and intuitive. They want to come towards you with that energy. Now, what about your new love here? Whoa, I got a couple. All right, we have the train moving on. Okay, life's journey, new endeavor, going away somewhere. Okay, going with the flow steady climb and no resistance. So I feel like this is Gemini energy, which is a twin flamish type of energy that I'm feeling. Now, your ascended masters are kind of telling you this may be your true north, discover, this may be on your life path that you're meant to um, find this person, kind of know where you're going. You might want to make a plan. And you might want to explore what this person's about, or they want to explore things with you. Let's get one more card for your um, reconciliation here. Mm. Fatigue, stress, anxiety. Yeah, you may have felt really uh, deteriorating loss of health or loss of yourself, I feel. Like, 
they were stealing your energy or it was costing too much to be with this person whether it's time love energy or money you had fear here with this person a lot of worry this is number five with uh, conflict and uh, change and instability of some kind with the seven of clubs that is the seven of wands this is you still overcoming these challenges against all odds with this person so this person really put you through the ringer no wonder you're saying not today what about your new person how are you feeling about your new person let's see this should have gone up here adventure affluence luxury so this person may be sophisticated they may like to be a little self-indulgent they have prosperity comfort and wealth they're a little extravagant or over the top there's travel with great ease luxury adventure smooth sailing so you may really enjoy this person they're like a rainbow for you and that again is that Gemini energy so the person may be a Gemini here and let's crack the deck on how you feel about this reconciliation aha uh -huh. you may be broadcasting something you may be doing something maybe you have your own platinum platform on your social media or perhaps you are have a, a podcast or maybe even um, a YouTube channel this is Sagittarius and Sagittarius energy and I feel like this combined energy here you may have even said to your person here that this is what you're going to do and maybe they didn't quite believe in you and I feel like you may have proved them wrong let's see what about your person here with the new love we have dear John oh no there's somebody may have rejected you maybe you reject them maybe it's a cold hard truth there's a breakup here a divorce it's not you it's me the end final word cutting the cord something's not working this is Capricorn energy five with the change so you may not <laughs> take either one of these people let's look at the outcome here what is the outcome for Capricorn just on the Capricorn please what's the outcome for Capricorn here for Capricorn okay there's community maybe there's a lot of people that know who you are maybe there's an ending that you have with one of these you may get to know or date one of these people there is an ending now some one of these people may be an official person you may be expecting an ending here or expecting something Ooh, courthouse so perhaps you end up getting divorced maybe you get married get engaged with one or the other this one wants to marry you or has asked you already at one point yeah there might you might end up going to court over a house you may end up having some unexpected income here from a main male and a wealthy man so there's two men here you may be the feminine Capricorn or maybe you are one of these men Capricorn so take how it resonates for you what's on the bottom of the deck <laughs> there's the mature woman so you may be you may not be older you could be but you're mature for your age I'm getting or you're very wise because of all the crap you've maybe been through and how people have treated you throughout your life I'm getting that you were even from a child people felt threatened by your light okay I kind of feel like people judged you by your cover your vessel instead of getting to know who you are underneath all that and there may be people that were kind of 
judging you because of your light. You're sunny and had a great disposition in your personality. You were kind of happy-go-lucky kind of person, perhaps, or you were always on the optimistic or was ready to have fun or <laughs> I'm kind of getting all these different feelings here that just excited about life. Let's go and explore. Let's go take an adventure. Let's go do something. I want to get out, do something. And it's like, you have a great personality and a great light within. Your soul just speaks to everybody. You may have that healing energy, that real, anybody could say anything to you and you would make them feel better about themselves. You don't tear them down, you build them up. People don't like that so much. They don't like it when people are happy, unfortunately. I don't get it, but whatever. Um, looks like you might end up ending one with one of these people here and possibly having to divorce the other, depending <laughs> maybe about a house, unexpected income. There's a choice between two men one that's stable and the other one that may be just in it for themselves. There's a official person here so perhaps one of them is a military or police officer or lawyer, judge, somebody that's official that is a higher up for hierarchy here. Wow that's so beautiful though look at that. So you may end up getting married to somebody here. Perhaps things don't go well. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what your intuition tells you here. I'm going to crack the deck about this reconciliation person. Yeah, there's no truth to whatever they're telling you or saying. They have lies, manipulation, and they're... I'm getting with this Ace of Swords, it's just like arguments and hostility towards you, lies, and just not cool energy, that's for sure. They may um, try to sweep you off your feet here to try to get you to let them in, I'm getting. They may even use the engagement ring as an enticement. Maybe they know you want to get married. Maybe they know you're looking for love. Maybe you've been looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Let's see what we get for your new love here. What's your intuition about your new love? Hmm. Your new love, let's see, this is the Four of Pentacles. So this is kind of maybe a misuse of money or greed. Maybe they're hanging on tight. Maybe it's all about money. So there was some controlling here. It could be this person or it could be this person. I feel like you're going to kind of know who's who here. I feel like it's going to be like a no-brainer. You're going to know who's who. I feel like you could see right through these people and what, yeah, this is divorce. So you may have been divorced from this person already, or you're going to get divorced with this person. Let's see. What is the energy for the new person? What is the energy for the new person? Okay. The Five of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that maybe... Hmm. Five of Cups in reverse. This is moving forward. This is positive. Coming out of any sad behavior. So maybe there's a breakup here. And moving forward. The Dear John. This may have happened already, 
perhaps you haven't actually had anything happen before this ended. It may have felt you were after their money. Hmm. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Somebody does not want something to end here with the Death card in reverse, though. I mean, hmm. That's Scorpio energy. That's an unwanted change. Maybe a delay or anxious or stressed. Maybe even a little bit of fear or financial. I kind of feel like a financial change that happens here. What's your intuition telling you overall, Capricorn? The Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. So this is something that's unexpected. Maybe limited time frame. Perhaps you are only with this person for three months. Before it ends, somebody may want to get back together. It's like you didn't get the message, or they didn't get the message. Somebody didn't get a message here, Capricorn. Somebody was supposed to get a message, or they're waiting for a message, or you're meant to give a message. What is this about? Let's crack the deck. Hmm, there hasn't made any plans here. The Ten of Cups is in reverse. So this person may be having family feud here with the Ten of Cups. They may be that, you may be, take how it resonates, this may be your person trying to heal family issues or you're trying to heal some family issues. You haven't made any plans with this person and you haven't messaged them. So there's no communication possibly at this time. What might be coming here? Let's crack the deck. Somebody being immature. A divorce. And the family room. So let's see one more. A mature man. So I feel like once you have your divorce, maybe you already are, maybe you're already past a certain point here, perhaps you've already heard from somebody that wanted to reconcile and you said no, and maybe it's at this point where you're coming into this new love, okay? Perhaps this hasn't happened yet, perhaps it's already started, perhaps it's already ended. Maybe you're reconciling. So depending on where you are in this timeline here, Capricorn, I kind of feel like things are moving forward, though, because now we're seeing there's a wealthy man here and a mean male here, some unexpected income. A house is involved here. There's a courthouse here somebody's expecting somebody or something there's an official person an ending and some community that may know about some endings here perhaps your person has ended it with somebody and everybody knows about it you're gonna know where you are in this and what your storyline is but this is what I have for you Capricorn but Please like, share, and subscribe. It looks like somebody wants to put a ring on it or maybe already tried. So <laughs> anyhow, we'll see what comes up next for you. This is for July 2023. So this is what's upcoming uh, for you, Capricorn. So 
sit tight if you've been patient your patience is paying off i feel like in the next three months here it's for a lot of the signs things are really going to change over the summer all right you guys take care stay blessed later